Hey everyone, I figured to do a quick update on my uh, carry-all golf cart here. I'm actually upgrading and adding a few features to this machine. I'm adding a rear caution light. I'm also adding turn signals and a horn. The horn will be later on down the road, but I'm going to get some of the wiring in for it. Right now I'm doing the uh, turn signal wiring. I'll show you on the actual machine in a second. But I picked up this unit right here off of eBay. I looked on Amazon. Amazon didn't have it. eBay had it was actually the best price so i think amazon might have been a bit more but i don't quite remember offhand but anyways i'm adding turn signals and then i'm adding this plate right here which is going to give me a switch for my caution light uh, 12 volt and usb the uh, golf cart did have provisions for turn signals but the wiring wasn't really there it only had the uh, positive and negative going up to the lights and the actual front lights have the turn signals right here but he had them wired in with the uh, headlights so when the headlights came on those just uh, glowed orange and the back ones I'll show you in a second but that uh, turn signal switch came with an entire wiring harness right here everything was labeled so I did not have to figure out anything these two wires here are the uh, rear that also has four-way flashes and a horn on it, so it actually works out pretty good. So all, all I got left to do is I got to hook these ones up to the rear wires, which I uh, finished running. And I got to hook up uh, positive and negative to here. This will be getting constant power, but the uh, switch plate right here will be getting switched power since it has a uh, volt gauge on it. I don't want to show battery voltage constantly. I was initially wanting this to have uh, constant power, but I don't really want to cut up any of this wiring right here. To put in switched power so anyways that's what i'm working on right here i'll show you the uh, back lights these are set up to have um, high beam and low beam so i'm going to use the high beam as the blinker the low beam will be the uh, daytime running lights and the daytime running lights do work when the uh, key is off so they're on a constant feed so basically i'm working on uh, just making this thing more legal i don't have brake lights unfortunately I might add in brake lights on the high beam side at a later date and I might also have to put in uh, different turn signals. But where the uh, tail lights are, that might not be exactly legal. And if you're wondering, the two trailer hitches, one is a trailer hitch, one's the uh, for the rear carry rack. But uh, that's the update on the golf cart right now. It still runs and drives. I had a few issues last night, but uh, they were relatively easy to sort out. I'll show you what's going on. Sorry about that, I couldn't pause my phone immediately. They had these uh, blade connectors in here for the uh, wiring, and a few of them came loose uh, just over time, driving this thing off-road, bumpy in, on the grass and stuff. So a few things came loose. I did pop a couple fuses last night, but I figured out the uh, there's a main fuse panel down there with four fuses. The blue one has to come back out, and i got to put 25 amp in there. Uh, it's only 15 currently. And then they have three more fuses under here which as long as there's no electrical faults you're pretty good and you can get to most of them from underneath so but I think these back ones will blow before the front ones will blow I'm, at least I'm hoping that's the case because the rear fuses are the main fuses the front fuses are the uh, secondary so that's what that's what I'm working off of as of right now and next thing I gotta do is I gotta get uh, my turn signal switch mounted here it is right here the cord's long enough to reach all the way down the dash and in. It's going to get mounted right here. Sorry. Right up here like this. It will spin, but I'll leave enough slack in the wire so it won't it won't uh, get pinched up. And i got to build a panel for right here like I had on my old golf cart. And that's where the 12-volt uh, switch will go. And eventually a radio down the road or I'll put the radio towards the right. I haven't decided yet. Also, I got to tie up a few of these wires in here. This is a ground wire, but I'm going to leave this loose for now because I do need a ground source for over here for the um, for the switch panel. Uh, hopefully, that will work like that because it's going to get a constant, or sorry, that's going to get switched to 12 volt, but the uh, turn signals will get a constant 12 volt. So, there's a bunch of different wires in there. Some are constant, some are switched. It's really, it's not that hard to work on. I've already. Um, these are my switch 12 volts right here. I got to finish those up and I got to add one more wire into there. And then my constant feed is uh, these ones right here. I know it's a, it's a wiring mess, definitely. The guy that did this, he did a good job, 
but the wiring he could have shortened up a lot of the wiring and uh, did the wiring a lot a lot more differently but i didn't put together initially i'm happy it was already done so it's a lot of a lot of different things going on on this machine so other than that uh that's just a quick update on the golf cart we'll get this stuff done and uh, i'll do a light test later on probably once it gets dark and hopefully I should have this thing done in the next uh, hour or so. The longest process will be is uh, making up this panel right here, which I'm probably going to do next. Or I'll get the wiring ran, and then I'll do that. But we'll see. So I'll talk to them later. Please keep it red like always, and uh, please try and comment.